Unit 7, Task 3. 1. I'm looking to create a home theatre system in my living room. I'd like a good setup for watching movies and sports in high definition, listening to music and playing games on my Xbox. 2. I need to do graphic design, including photo retouching, for a publishing company. I need a large monitor that can display two full-size pages side by side. I also like to watch DVDs on my computer, so... 3. I prepare multimedia presentations with PowerPoint on my laptop, and I need to be able to display the images on a wall or screen. 4. I'd like to buy an entry-level monitor for everyday use, and I need one that doesn't take up a lot of space on my desk, because it's only a very... 5. I teach science, and I've been encouraged to use this new presentation tool. They say it can help me create really dynamic lessons. 7, Task 4. There are a number of health and safety problems that may result from the continuous use of computers. Anyone spending more than four hours a day working on a PC may start to suffer from aching hands, neck or shoulders, occasional headaches and eye strain. Is there anything we can do to avoid it? Yes, there's a lot you can do. For example, if you take the trouble to position your computer properly, you can avoid backache. Get a good chair, one that supports your lower back and is adjustable so you can change its height and angle. Make sure your feet rest firmly on the floor or on a footrest. Position the keyboard at the same height as your elbows with your arms parallel to the work surface and position the monitor at or just below eye level. You should look down at it slightly, not up. Don't put your monitor in front of a window and make sure there isn't a lamp shining directly into your eyes or reflecting off the screen. You should sit at arm's length from the front of the monitor about 50 to 70 centimetres away. It's a good idea to have a monitor with a tilt and swivel stand. Does anyone know what that is? Yes, I think it's a kind of stand that lets you move the monitor up or around so you can use it at the correct angle and height. That's right. Now, do you know of any health problems caused by using a computer? I've heard of something called RSI, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. RSI stands for Repetitive Strain Injury, and it causes pain in the upper arms and back. People who type constantly at high speed often suffer from it. My eyes often feel really sore and tired after I've been using the computer for a few hours. How do I stop that from happening? Well, as a general rule, you shouldn't use a monitor that's fuzzy or that distorts the image. Give your eyes a rest. Look away from the monitor from time to time, out of the window or across the room.